Welcome back to this episode of RV Garage Living. Today, we are trying to make things electric, i.e. dig in a trench to make sure that our electricity is going from the solar panels to the powerhouse to the pole bar. So come along for the ride. Our ditch has to be below the frost line, which is three feet in Idaho. So we have to take our bougie tractor and dig it out as far as we can, and then use the jackhammer because about two, two and a half feet down, we come to Caliche, which is that cement rock I told you guys about in a prior video. So we have to get out the jackhammer jackhammer through about another foot or so and then after we get through the caliche it turns back into sand again so then we take the tractor bucket again and scoop it out so that just tells you how much work has to go in this trench this trench is about 
40 or so feet from so the powerhouse. So between the pole barn and the new watershed, goes the tractor shed, it's about 20, 25 feet. And then between that building and the next building is five feet. So it is about 40 feet or so from the pole barn to the powerhouse. So it's a 40 foot-ish stretch that we have to do. Now that our trench has been dug out, I guess is a good way of putting it, we are off to the store to get some supplies. So we have two by fours, some OSB, some conduit, some charlotte pipe, and metal piping for the electric install. In the state of Idaho, you're allowed to be your own plumber and your own electrician. With that comes a lot of responsibility on yourself. Also, you're required to put an emergency shutoff on the outside of the building that your electric goes into. So that is today's project. More information to come on the electric and the fuses and what kind of utilities we will be having. So stay tuned for our next episode. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know the next time that we post our video and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.